too good. Three good. So we are the red engineers and um, today we're just running off what we started so far. This is our ping pong launcher. We ended up doing a three times target of 10 feet. And now we just want to show you the little physics in it. To start with, we start with a free body diagram. This is the elevation with a height of 10 centimeters and a length of 27 centimeters. With these parameters, we're able to get the angle, which is the tangent inverse of these two numbers, which gave us 20.3 degrees. And so just Talk about the forces acting on the ball we have the weight acting downward which is at an angle we have the um, force of the spring we applied which is this one and we have the frictional force which opposes the force of the spring we actually carried, carried out this experiment in a in a close place which we we're able to neglect um, wind neglect effect of wind and which will cause the drag force proportional to the velocity of the ball so right now i want to talk about the the time of flight to do that we need kinematic equation i'm going to start with this one we have the height the initial height of the of the ping pong which is a distance from here to here we calculated that to be 20, 36 centimeters approximately 0.36 meters and since we have the height we don't have the initial velocity is zero we can be able to calculate the, the time of flight so what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve for t to be able to calculate the flight. I did that and I got my t to be the square root of 2 times the initial height divided by, by gravity. So after plugging in my numbers, we ended up with the time of flight to be 0 0.2709 seconds. And also we can get the velocity from this calculation. We can either use this one or this one, it doesn't matter. We ended up getting the same velocity. So if we do that, we have um, the initial velocity to be 0. We have the velocity now to be two times six, two point six five eight meter per second, and we can also calculate the, the maximum height reached, which will be the initial height plus this height. We got this formula from this. <coughs> if I solve for x, I'll have this formula. So we can get a height from x one, which is the initial height, plus this, which we calculate this to be. Um, I'm going to do it over here. We have x initial to be zero point three six meters plus um, the V, which was 2.66.658 sine of the angle, which is theta, which is sine of the angle 20.3 squared divided by <coughs> 2 times 9.8. So if we do this, we're gonna get the, the maximum height to be let me do the calculator. We have two two point six five eight sine of twenty point three squared divided by two divided by nine point eight one. So now we have zero point three six meters plus zero point zero four three three. Plus point three six. This is zero point four zero three three, or approximately forty point three three meters. This is the maximum height traveled. This is the the time of flight, which we calculated to be um, zero point two seven zero seconds. And this is our velocity. So this is pretty much what we did for this to be able to get a three times consistent range of 10 um, feet. And the range also, just to show, I mean, you already know you gave it to us, the range is 10 feet. So yeah, that's all we need.